What's up, fabulous Nars here? PlayStation Plus games for January have been announced. Halo Infinite gets a new Mr. Chief DLC, and I share my top five games of 2021. I feel like we're going to get to know each other a lot better after today's fix. <laughs> Announced in a PS blog today, January monthly games are out to celebrate the new year and to get subscribers excited for what's to come. Starting on January 4th, PlayStation Plus subscribers will be treated to Persona 5 Strikers, Dirt 5, and Deep Rock Galactic. Persona 5 Strikers is an action RPG game that is set half a year after the events of the original Persona 5. Players will visit six different cities all over Japan while cooking delicious recipes and battling the forces of evil to solve the mystery behind the corruption within the metaverse dungeons. Dirt 5 is not your typical racing game. It's an off-road experience with stunning scenery and iconic cars, with over 70 routes across the globe to blaze through a creator mode and four-player split-screen, you'll have so much more to do and explore. Deep Rock Galactic is a 1-4 player sci-fi co-op shooter where players have to work together to mine, explore, and blast away waves of enemies while collecting valuable resources. Players team up as badass dwarven on a procedurally generated and 100% destructible caves that is also home to extremely hostile aliens. Dig together, earning rewards and item upgrades, or dig your own grave in this dangerously dark world. Moving on, Halo Infinite players were super stoked for Meowster Chief, and now 343 Industries released its next DLC bundle, Mr. Chief. Based on the popular Halo meme by Halo boss Frank O'Connor, the bundle includes a weapon charm, vehicle decal, a new AI model, and some other things. The bundle will cost you 2,000 credits, which is about $20, $10 more than Meowster Chief. Now before you get angry at the ridiculous price, Microsoft previously mentioned a portion of microtransaction sales would be added to the Halo Esports event price pools, which saw a $100,000 boost in its crowdfunding. So think of it as going to a good cause. And finally, let's go over some of my favorite games from 2021. Kicking off, I have to give much love to Resident Evil 8, aka RE Village, for being such an amazing next entry to the RE franchise. After the aftermath of Resident Evil 7, we reconvene with main protagonist Ethan Winters, who was searching for his long-missing wife in a destitute area of God knows where before. In the opening scene of Village, we get a taste that the story isn't over. Oh no, it's just beginning. I absolutely love this game for its ability to keep me on my toes while still managing to stay true to its roots. The blend between old and new, like recurring characters Chris Redfield, and spicing up exploration and combat really made this game one of my favorites for 2021. You just can't help but be mesmerized by Lady Demetrius, played by Maggie Robertson, who did such an incredible job at voicing and capturing the stunning temptress in the game. I mean, Maggie Robertson won Best Performance at this year's Game Awards, so yeah, she's awesome. It's a surprise release that I didn't see coming, but a lot of you probably did. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, the eighth main installment from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Scott Carthen returns with another game, but this time it's so different. You play as protagonist Gregory left behind in another Fazbear institution, only this time it's in 3D and it's a massive open space. The story takes place after the events of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, with Gregory trapped in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. New animatronics come into play and absolutely eye-popping visuals, scares, easter eggs, and stories make this new installment such an imaginative leap from previous games. I won't spoil anything for you, but you better check it out. It's really good. Possibly the game that has stunned me the most this year is the deck-building horror game Inscription. Now at first I wasn't pretty charmed by the deck-building or TTRPG format of the game, but it definitely grew on me. The game starts off with players trying to escape by beating what seems to be a demonic force in a basic card game. But slowly it comes to the realization that this isn't a normal card game, not until you've played a couple times that you realize there are puzzles, hidden allies, and a darker meaning to the game. And once you think you're out, oof, you'll be surprised. My next favorite game of 2021 has to be Little Nightmares 2. Now if you never played the first, it's okay, you'll end up playing it anyways. 
The story play takes place sometime in the same universe as the first one. So it follows the story of a little boy named Mono accompanied later by a little girl named Six. This game takes the cake on offering stunning visuals with a nightmarish flavor while constantly reminding you that something is seriously wrong in this world. You'll constantly come across events, stories, and characters that literally make your skin crawl. What ultimately makes this game so charming and terrifying is the development of both main characters Mono and Six. It's the merger of adorably terrifying delight and without spoiling too much of the game, the journey along with the characters will have you think twice about what horror can truly be. Lastly, possibly the game that took months of this year just because I'm a big fan of survival sandbox games like Ark and Conan Exiles, but unlike those well-polished games, Valheim was a bit more brutal, raw, and mysterious. Within the procedurally generated world that is inspired by Norse mythology, players can band together for up to 10 in a server to craft weapons, construct lavish houses, and slay mighty mythical foes to prove to Odin you got what it takes to move up in the world. The world is surprisingly stunning as you run through meadows, battle the mythical, and live in a vast fantasy world among the gods. Developer Iron Gate did mention a new biome was set to be released next year, so I am super excited to get back into gear. And that was your Games Fix for today, December 29th. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. For all things everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.